So in this uh, video I will go through the uh, fifth sample of the GPU ECS animation baker. Um, and in this sample there is uh, a character featured called Maria and if you look at her uh, prefab um, there is um, actually uh, one uh, on her animation controller one strafe walk blend tree defined and that will actually blend between left strafe walking walking and right strafe walking uh, from the va ma values minus one zero to one uh, to see that in action uh, let's put her like this in the uh, scene so this is just the original game object uh, no ECS uh, entities yet um, and we would like to do what we can do here with the uh, animator directly so if we click on her and we use the blender you can see that this uh, blend is working really nicely based on this uh, animated parameter so the problem is um, if we want to do this in the gpu ecs uh, animator we uh, we can't really blend as we should based on interpolation of um, the angles of the bones because we don't really have any access to to the original bone structure at all anymore so what we can do is interpolate between the vertices of uh, different poses but if we would were to do that between left and walking for example and then from walking to right uh, strafe walking then that that would be too distorted that wouldn't be uh, correct what we can do however is uh, sample enough poses in between and then blend between those close uh, enough poses um, in the shader on vertex basis that will work so let's see how you set something like this up and let's see it into action so let's remove her from the scene let's have a look at the prefab and look at the uh, configuration so there is only one animation id strafe walk and the state name is strafe walk as uh, you can see here uh, it's called strafe walk um, and then we have to define instead of a single clip it's a dual clip blend now because it's a dual clip blend we need to give some extra parameters the first one is the strafe uh, blend parameter name uh, so this will be the parameter name of that value where we will uh, um, blend over and then we need to specify two clips and the corresponding values of the blend parameter and the corresponding uh, um, animation that uh, that plays this particular value so in this case we want to go from minus one uh, because it went from minus one being the left and then plus one being the right strafe walking we want to go from minus one to one and we want to specify those uh, animation clips bear in mind this is only used to determine the length of this animation um, and we also need to specify the number of in-between samples so the higher this number is the larger your animation texture will be because it will generate more in-between textures and if you uh, the minimum is is two uh, if you put uh, one it would actually uh, uh, generate an error here so the minimum would be two and there is no uh, real maximum i think it's yeah the maximum is a hundred but uh, of course the maximum will be also defined by uh, memory size of your uh, textures will take up and so let's put it back to 10 and then we also generate the ids enumeration file and the rest is the same so if we generate this and we already did but i can do it again you will see that um, she will have in the baked assets uh, what would be interesting to see also is this uh, animation texture 
you will see a lot of the same kind of uh, animations this each time it's a different blend it's those 10 different uh, blends um, now how does that actually work then in the scene um, so we already we just have to re-enable the sub scene here and we have her in there and she's basically just the uh the baked uh the baked uh, EC gpu ecs animator um from before so how does this work in terms of code so we have this scroll bar this blend scroll bar um when we um uh, scroll here we call the blend script dot blend uh, function on this script and if we go in this blend script what does it do in fact it's uh, getting the entity manager it's getting all the uh, gpu ecs animator control component uh, entities uh, in the scene which in this case will be only one it's getting this into a native array we're looping over it again this will only be one and then we're just saying uh, run the animation run the stray fork animation and this is the blend factor which is this blend value that comes from the uh, slider and that will be a value uh, between zero and one it's uh, the, it's always going to be between zero and one uh, so you can see also here that uh, the value is also always going to be between zero and one so if we run that we can actually see that this does give us what we want and we can nicely blend between every position even though this is uh, interpolated between vertex positions now just to show you the difference uh, let's say that we were to only take two samples and that would essentially just be the left extreme and the right extreme then it would uh, um, take and we would generate from that now you would see then immediately that the uh, the texture that was generated is much smaller and it will now just interpolate purchases but with a lot less in between and the result will be that it's very distorted as you can see it still kind of works but because it's just interpolating between the vertices it's it doesn't really take into account that uh, it needs to turn the body rather than just interpolate between vertices and then of course uh, we can increase this again um, maybe if we do like five of them that will might already be enough you can kind of play around with it and optimize it for texture size versus quality of the blend so that's better it's a lot better in fact it might already be enough there is a slight bit of distortion there so yeah if you put it at 10 any distortion that is still there is going to be completely unnoticeable and the texture is still within the reasonable limits as you can see here well that's it for the uh, blend sampling uh, uh, sample scene